Hi Wonders! Welcome back to Jog My Memory. In this video, we are going to develop our understanding of Mid Latitude Cyclone. So let's get into it. Let's look at a few characteristics of Mid Latitude Cyclones. Basically, their other names include Mid Latitude Depression, Temperate Cyclone, and Extra Tropical Cyclone. They form between 40 to 60 degrees north and south of the equator and occur between 30 to 60 degrees north and south. They move from west to east. They occur all year round in both hemisphere and affect South Africa in winter. Their features include the warm front, warm sector, cold front and the cold sector. The weather associated with the cold front include overcast, low temperatures, strong winds and heavy rain. The areas if affected include the western side of continents in mid latitude. In front of you is a synoptic representation of a mid latitude cyclone on a weather map. Make sure that you are able to draw and label the figure in front of you. This is the cross section of a mid latitude cyclone. In this diagram, we can see the cold front and the warm front. Between them is your warm sector. Your warm air rises above your cold air as shown in point one. At point two, your cold dense air moves under the warm air and your cold dense air moves away at point B. The general movement of the system is from west to east. The weather conditions associated before and after the cold front are shown in front of you. In front of the cold front, you have overcast conditions with cumulonimbus clouds. And behind the cold front is high pressure with cumulus clouds and partly cloudy weather conditions with light rain. Now let us look at possible test and exam questions using the following example. In front of you, we can see that the date is the 30th of the first month 2010. This is summer in the southern hemisphere. We can see pressure cell A and pressure cell B. Both are high pressure cells. And we can see low pressure cell C with tropical cyclone Kathy. Question 1. Name high pressure cell A and B for 4 marks. A is your South Atlantic High and B is your South Indian High. Question 2. Give two pieces of evidence from the map that shows this is a summer map. You can list any of the two reasons. 1. A tropical cyclone can be seen on the map. Mid-latitude cyclones are seen south of South Africa. The South Indian and South Atlantic high pressures are south of South Africa. A low pressure cell can be seen over the center of South Africa and of course the date as mentioned before. The letter G indicates a mid-latitude cyclone. Name the fronts labeled F and H. B. In which direction does the cyclone generally move? And C. Describe how front F will affect the weather of Cape Town. Question A. F is your cold front and H is your warm front. They move in an easterly direction or from west to east. And C. Temperatures will decrease or the pressure will increase. Your cumulonimbus clouds and thunderstorms will occur. Question 